blessing to come before you another day in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, O God, for all you've done throughout this week and this day. And every hour, every minute, Father, we thank you allow us to breathe. So whatever you're doing right now, sit down and relax and take a big breath and say, I need to hear the word be filled by your spirit and your soul because we all need that, right? So I have to do that, so you must do that. And I must make time for Father, Son, the Holy Spirit to know that he's all about love. So the word is today, why not? He gave me a ministry about praying. And this ministry is about praying to his son, Almighty God. Because through him, he answer all prayers. Without him, he don't answer no prayers. Because his son went to the cross for us and love had no sin at all. So open your ears to hear. Why not you want to pray to Jesus? Why not you want to open yourself up to Jesus? Why not want to tell him what's on your mind, even though he already knows what's on your mind? You know things before you even know it, and it's time for you to say, yes, Father. I want to know you, make time for my son, as you make time for your children, because he made time for us all. They say this world is divided. No, God made this world not divided. He made his children a species to live in this world with Jesus, and not without Jesus. He said, you don't pray and ask, it will not be done. Everything you ask in prayer will be done. Wake up in the morning and say, Father, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for the beautiful trees, that all the beautiful reds and colors. Isn't it awesome, God? He made this world so beautiful to live in. And I look at the trees so much, they are so pretty in color. Sometimes I can't fall asleep. But the trees catch my eyes to the Holy Spirit. So catch your eyes to the Holy Spirit. Don't give up on Jesus. Pen on Jesus, because Jesus loves you. And he knows what you're going to do before it happens. You know, even go looking for something, for a job. You said, Lord, I'm tired. Why didn't you ask Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit? Because he does answer prayers to his Son. He granted us this day in love, did not have to did it, but he did. This nation need more prayer. The government need more prayer. The ones that lost need prayer. They said, oh, I can do it. No, you can't do it without God. Nothing you cannot do without Christ. But through Christ, we make things happen. He said, we can turn around and turn your back away from him. But why are you going to turn your back away? He didn't turn it back away from us. Why would you want to do that? Depend on him. When you're sick, we you ask for healing and say, I believe I'm healed. I believe I'm well. I believe I'm in the right mind. Sometimes the enemy will attack your mind and your body like you try to attack mine and take your spirit because he can't take your breath. The Holy Spirit is in you. He said, Jesus in love. He did all in love, and whatever is yours through spirit, oh God, is about him. Anyway, oh God, we need your presence right now in this world. We need prayer to come back into this world. We need it for the, the president to hear not his voice, Father God, to hear your voice, Father God. And Father God, there's something he do wrong, Father God. You know what to do there, Father God, because we don't know. You know what's going on in your world, what's going on for highway to byways. You know, Holy God, who the ones that are lost that don't want to see your son. It says, no, God is no Jesus. Isn't he the light? He's the stars. He's the moon. He's the wind. He's all that and more. We are so busy about ourselves and not about Jesus. When it's going to stop, we must come and say, Jesus, we need thee. Jesus, you're holy. We come to you at your so his feet and the praise, holy God, and love. And so, Lord, I give it all to you. Start the day with us in our life and prayer. When you fall asleep, say a little prayer in love. Wake up, you say a little prayer in love. Start the day with him. And we start the day with holy God. You know what? It's a good day. Sometimes things are bad, but God said, don't worry about it. I'll work it out. And you work things out in love. Watch and see what God will do. You know, I've been a long journey with Jesus, I still am. And sometimes I gotta say, am I ready to come right now? If I'm not, tell me, I'll stay home to rest. But you know what the enemy tell you? That you can't do what God wants you to do. I'm here in faith because I pin on my God. I pin on my Jesus because he loves me and I'm there for him. He called me and I said, yes. Look at the cross, what he done for you. That cross supposed to mean something for you. Not about fashion. It's a cross what Jesus did for you on the cross 2,000 years ago. We must remember his love. And here it is, Halloween now, and they all doing things with the evil spirit time to do. Everything is in set time. Even Jesus said, you know what, I'm here. 
celebrate my son. And before you know it, that's over, right? And then what's happening next? The Feast of Thanksgiving. A Feast of Jesus, sit down and thank him. If no turkey, you still thank him anyway, because the food on the table, you thank him anyway, because he is all about love. He don't take nothing away from us. He wants to have the best. So if you don't start the day with him, going to the hospital, going to therapy, whatever you're going through, he's there. He's waiting for you to call his son to live inside of you. He's here for you to reach out to him and say, Father, I'm here. Hear my voice to his son, oh God, I pray. Holy God, forgive us for our sins. We're all about stuff and everything else, oh God. Look around, have things changed? No. That's why God put me on air for you to hear, others to hear, his precious name, Jesus. Jehovah Jireh, Jesus. He's the one that make things happen, and we cannot. He said, you want to see the promised land? Yes. And God said, in time, he will send his son to make things over. Don't you want to bow before his son? And you can't say a word. He said, what have you done for my son while she were here? Are you all about yourself? I think you heard this word before, because he's gonna ask you when you come humbly before his feet, what have you done for my son? You're gonna bow down before his feet? Are you gonna touch his garment and be changed in him? Do you wanna be changed in him? Changing him is a gift. Changing him is to feel his presence all around you. Doesn't matter where you at. Don't feel your loss. Sometimes I feel so empty. I say, God, what's going on with me? Why well, I'm so empty? And sometimes even when you feel that way, you're not even here, like you're in another place. But I said, whatever I'm at, I know I'm in a good place. And remember, more you pray, the enemy will come after you. It's the evil devil. He will come after you. Say, Satan is written in the name of Jesus. I'm on the blood. You must flee in the name of Jesus because I'm on the blood. Because he said, I'm not going to flee because he will flee. Because Jesus said, he must flee. And to a son of God, he be gone. But you know what? Like his son out there in the wilderness, and so we I was out there. I said, God, I don't know what to do. But I'm trusting you. This earthly body is not mine. I lean on you. I lean on you for everything I have to do. Guide me, search me, fill me with your presence on high. When you feel broken down, and feel wounded, and you feel weak like I do, it's the Holy Spirit, give me strength to get through this day. Put joy in my spirit, oh Lord, I pray. And he will do that for you. We can't be so much in a rush going on the day. The young people's in a rush doing this and doing that. The elders talking about the same thing and nothing new. God said, you know what, you age in grace. And grace is my son that live in you. Are you telling somebody about my son, Jesus? You want the best years. He give you the best. He give you family. He give you love. He give you food. He give you the blue skies. He give you all the beautiful trees. It's changing in season, beautiful colors. Like the rainbows of Jesus will touch the ground. Aren't they pretty? God made this world so beautiful. But we got to learn to say, Father, one thing is going to change when we pray more and ask the Holy God to know that God is real. You know what? You must have a feeling like I want and you must want is there. Long to pray. Like you go to old music, that's gone. You're a new creature in Christ. You want to change to Holy God and say, Father, I need change. Tell me where to go on the workplace. Tell me what to do. Be in my hands, be in my voice, be in everything I do. When you go to the hospital, Father, I'm not worrying about myself, because I know I'm being well. Open your ears to hear our Savior's voice. Say, if you see your healing, I know it's done. It doesn't matter what religion you are, because he's not gonna ask you what religion you are when he call you home. Like he said before, what have you spread the news about my son? I would tell him about my son. Who is his son? Jesus. Jesus that loved us, that gave his only son to die for us on the cross 2,000 years ago. And he went across, people there see the way, the big old cross as a fashion, so many. I said, you know what? That cross is supposed to mean something. It means something to me. It should mean something to you. He said, no, I asked for healing for cancer. Whatever you're going through, God go through it with you. 
It's up to him to heal you or not heal you. If you go to sleep in cancer, you're not alone because God said, I cleanse your spirit before you go home to the promised land. And we must be saved to say, Jesus, he was saved, he was baptized. And people, they look at the church and walk by and say, you know what, I can wait. No, tomorrow is not promised, only day is. So why not surrender yourself to him to know that Jesus said, I'm still waiting and I'm still waiting. Why haven't you come? Go hungry for his word. I can't tell you what to do, but I know on this journey I'm learning and I hope you'll learn something from this word. Prayer fills your spirit. Prayer make you happy and prayer will keep you well. Yes, we get sick, but God does cleanse us, doesn't he? That's why things this world is going on. God said this world is going to make over in the paradise. But you know what? How are we going to get there if we don't know Jesus? How are we going to get there if we don't pray? How are we going to get there if we don't see in our lives? So no, I can do it all. No, you can't do it without him. He's the one that makes things open the doors. And no devil cannot close the door that God opened. You say, you know what? I'm tired. I want to live. I want to go take my life. That's the enemy telling you. Then go get beer, look at and then what happened then? You back in the gutter again. Jesus didn't go to the gutter to die for you on the cross. He didn't do that. He went in love. He's in paradise with his father and his mother and all the saints, all the angels. You know what? A lot of people call me this and that. I say, you know what? I'm just a servant and so are you. It's a gift to serve him. It's a gift to know who he is. And you said, Lord, I'm falling in love with you. He's there. Open yourself up in the shower where you can sing, Lord, God bless this day. Fill me with your presence on high. While I'm empty, God, fill me the words to say to someone that need thee. Whoever's broken, pick them up. Make them over. Let them feel your love overflowing in this day, oh God, I pray. And the ones that feel that it's no Jesus, he did so much for you. He brought you a long way. What have you done for him? Have you tell him about the good news of Jesus? Have you tell him and say, in prayer is good for your mind and your body? Doesn't matter what religion you are, because he's not gonna ask you that when you fall down on your feet. He's gonna ask you, do you know my son? Have you tell somebody about my son? It's Jesus. So it's not about you and stuff. It's about Christ that lives in us. A lot of people get up in the morning, want to do this and do that. And you say, Father, I thank you for this day. I will take time and say, Father God, in Jesus' name, join the day with me. Put joy in my spirit. If I'm on the journey, I'm going to come through it in your time, not my time as I am. If you feel that there's no one around you, as so I do, Know that he's around you and he's watching you. And see, are you going to pray more and ask for help? You know what? This world is not easy living out without God and not without his son. I take time to look at the heavens. I take time to look at his beautiful trees. You know what? Like the trees and the leaves go down on the ground and the new babies root up for the spring. They root up again to grow it. As a seed us in Jesus, we must grow as a seed in Him to blossom and know that it's a God about love because He is about love. We can stay everything else but call on Jesus only when we feel we're in trouble. Why is that? Who else should go? We can't go to mommy or daddy. And the doctor tells you your last day. What are you going to do on your last day if you call your home? If you're not saved, you better go get saved right away. Because you're not saved, you'll never see the paradise, you'll never look on Jesus. You say, God, I'm tired. I have time. No, you don't have time. He is all the time in the world, and we do not. He didn't have to wake us up this morning, but he did out of love. We complain about the rain, everything else. Season change, the flowers, everything bloom. Fall sets in, and everything, the snows come in the rain. A lot of people say, you know what, it's a bad day. How was a bad day he woke you up? So what is rain and the gray clouds? God knows what he's doing every day. We take life for granted. 
and life is precious. Have you made your journey with God and through His Son Jesus? Not a quick prayer, a little prayer and say, Father, we need your presence. We need you now, O oh God. Have us repent and turn back to your side. If your relationship you don't feel is the right one, pray on it. And the Spirit will tell you, no, it's not the right one. Don't listen to yourself. Someone tell me, I'm going to go down south with my children. God didn't tell you to go in the, in the car with your children by yourself. That's foolish. So much just happened today. God would say, you know what? What's so important in going down there? I didn't tell you to put my children I gave you to go someplace you can't get back and no one's around to hurt you. Don't say God tell you. He doesn't tell us things to do unless you know him for yourself. You gotta know him inside for yourself because he is about love. He is about grace. He is about mercy. Because I know I didn't come this far without him. I've been a long journey, so have you. And if the loved one's going on, remember, Jesus, mother, watch what his son done. But guess what? He rose the third day. And knowing our Father, Holy God, is so good. Know his mother that had a son for us. Where will we be without Christ today? Where will we be without his love today? We're all in a hurry and don't want to know him. We didn't know him more because he's the foundation. He's the earth. He keep our feet on solid ground. He said, I feed you when you're hungry. I give you water to drink to clean your spirit. Your blood is running through my son because of you. Your eyes you see through him. Your ears are open through him. But we don't want him. We want everything else. I got to go to work and do this and do that. But when you're in trouble, who do you go to? And when he calls some long home home, what he do then, you don't know him. You can't face death because you don't know Jesus. When I was younger, I didn't understand. But now I know my father. And a lot of people say, oh, she's a church goer. No, I'm not. I learned to have a relationship with my father. I learned to have a relationship to his son, Jesus and Mary. He liked for us to spend time in prayer, like he spent time with your soulmate. You say, no, I'm not moving away from you, but I'm just going to sit quietly here in prayer. At home, in the hospital, or in your room, close your eyes and meditate on him. And watch how his presence will give you a new voice, a joy, and a spirit to feel him. So whatever you're going through, cancer, whatever it is, God said, I'm the doctor, I'm the healer, trust in him. But we're hooked up in fashions and everything else in this world. Everyone wants to celebrate Halloween. You know what the Halloween is about? Demons. That's what it's about. The demons from many years ago. That's what it's all about. It's in the book about demons. And you're dressing up. You're not serving God there. You're serving Satan when you dress up in these masses and everything else. And your kids go out and get candy and they come home. That's sick. Why? Because they're going someplace they should not be. Why not have it in the house to give the kids candy? He said, now we don't need to celebrate Halloween. Celebrate the birth of Christ, because that's what it is. Thanksgiving is right around the corner. Oh, we gotta get a turkey, are you being thankful? I said early, be thankful, whatever you have on your table. Be thankful that he blessed us to see this day and everything he's done. He's so good to us and we don't appreciate it, what he's doing. He said, I give you a job, do you take time and say thank you? I give you the right soulmate in my time and not your time because he's always on time. You're searching for some place and that place is coming where God wants you to have because you got in prayer. said, Lord, I can't afford it. You know you want me to live? Say, Father God, you picked the place. You picked the house that you want me to live in. I claim it in the name of Jesus. That I pray, oh God, not to get married and not last a year. Father, you tell me deep down the side now is not the one to say no. It's not the one. I said, Lord, tell me when I'm sick to go to the hospital. Tell me when not to go. And sometimes I'm hurting so much and things I don't understand. Sometimes I'm not seeing. I said, God, I sit in the bus, sleep with my eyes and not seeing the Holy Spirit. He's awake. You know what? My eyes are clearly, I can see better than you see now. 
Don't think you alone anything. This body is not ours. It's the Holy Spirit that lives in us. And the Holy Spirit that loves you. He knows about your pain. He knows about your aches. He knows about everything. His mind is in you, and you have to see him in you. His voice is in you. His walk is in you. So don't give up on God. Father loves you, and so does son Mary. Mary prayed for us to see his son. The Lord watch we hear and deserve because his, her son didn't die in vain. She, he died for us. And she went all through it with him. And things you go in life, God go through it all with us. We caught up in the media, we caught up in everything else, the tablets, the phones, this generation, things are changing, why? We don't wanna go back to the old ways of doing things with Jesus. He says, I never change, I'm here. Don't you hear his voice calling you? So don't feel you're out there alone. Make time and say, I trust in you. When you look for a job, you say, Father God, if this a job or not, give me the job you want me to have. Once I was praying for someone for a job and I said, you know what? I got it. No, you got the job out of prayer. Everything comes to prayer. Healing comes to prayer. If you have cancer, some you heal, some you do not. And children does have it, yes. A lot of people, you can't question God. You can't do that. God said, God, why are they questioning you? I just, Lord, I can't do this without you. When he first called me this, I was in the street many days, and I love being in the street, because he gave me a gift of praying and singing and worship him. I said, Lord, I want to be in television, but you know what? I went home and cried and lacked forgiveness. And I'm here to tell you the good news, to go hungry for prayer. Why not go hungry for prayer? Because nothing's going to change. Everything is going to stay the same. There's no prayers in the schoolhouse. You go to the church, you sit there, you hear the word. And somebody come out, and I went to church one day late and got there in time for prayer. And I said, what was the match yesterday? It was, you know what? They didn't know because they wasn't listening to the prayer. You know what? You go to church to be fed by your spirit and your soul. You go to church to hear his word, not looking around and see what someone's wearing. You go there to know that God says, do you want to hear? Listen to my son voice in you. To know that God is able to do all what he wants in you. You know what, sometimes when I'm praying, there's a gift come out of me and I say, oh, that's not me. That's the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit, look, I see myself come look old, and the devil see yourself look aging old in Christ, and you don't look good to come in the day, but I'm here, the devil is alive because I'm here, and I'm gonna praise him. That's Lord, I thank you. Sometimes I think I don't go, I'm not gonna make it in this journey I'm going on. So I cried many nights, and the Holy Spirit said, you'll make it. He listened, he watches everything that we do. I'm learning. You learn as I learn. His arms, are, hands are open for you to hear us. Take his hands. His ears for you to hear. He is calling your name. You could be whatever he chooses you to be, a surgeon, a doctor. But we must pray before you even touch somebody. You must pray before he said, I will tell you what to say as he tell me. So don't feel you lost. Read a scripture in the Bible every day. One that puts your spirit and they give you upper lip in prayer. A lot of people say, no, the doctor's my healer. No, God, his son, is the healer. I heal. Some people say, I have surgery, my surgery. Someone said, I'm blind, but to the Holy Spirit, you see different when you're blind, don't you? You don't see things the same. You're saying things differently through his eyes. So he'll never leave you. Only thing, we left him and we empty without him. And we need him right now in our spirit and our body. We must repent and say, Father God, we need thee every hour, every minute. A lot of people say, you know what, I go to gamma, yes, that's not God's way. God said, I give it all. I'll tell you what to give when you plant the seed. You give from your heart and you give in love. You don't give what someone tell you to give. Once I was sitting in church and the Holy Spirit told me, and I was sitting there in prayer, and he said, the church need help, and I prayed for the church need help. I'm back again, he said, you know what, give the church a hundred dollars. I didn't question it. I gave it because I give things in love. 
and things I want to do more I can't do. I said, God, I want to go fly in the ears and pray for others from highways and byways. You give me a gift of praying and healing and plus others in prayer. If you want a gift of healing, you ask God for a gift of healing that he touch, not you, and bring them and heal it in prayer and be well in spirit and body. If you need a special gift. Like I said, touch, who touched my garment? I touch you, Jesus. I need deliverance, Jesus. I need your help, Jesus. I need the foundation to your son, O oh God. I need a step of sweet spirit in me, holy God, in the name of Jesus, and he will do it. He will do it. If you want to use acts and say, I'm here for you, are you there for him? He says, the song says, I'm here at your beck and call. I cry out to you. Hear my prayers to your son. Oh Lord, I pray, forgive us for our sins, because you all about sin that had no sin at all, but we choose to live in sin. So dry your eyes, sweet spirit. Your time is on the way. Say, God, it's about love. Then talk to him in your own way, and he listens to you. And they give me, I'm waiting to pray for others in Spanish. And I said, Father God, when I'm going to speak Spanish? Sometimes I'm speaking and don't know it. You know what? He's all there for us. He's there for you. So I'll thank you one moment alone. You wait a long time for an apartment, God will give you the right apartment that he wants you to have. He said, I'm tired living out here because you gave up on Jesus. When you get an apartment and a job, you know what you do? You say, you know what? You pay for that apartment. You pay for the marriage if it's the right one. If you're not, you don't get paid for it. Because your gut will tell you you don't pay for it. And if you're waiting for an apartment and the Holy Spirit tell you what, you pack your bags, you pack your, 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 your luggage, you pack your things you're going to take with you to your new place. You pack your boxes, you pack your belongings, everything that you say, you know what? And Jesus said, I'm ready to go. When the apartment comes, I'm ready to go. Even in schools, in the wrong when you're meeting, uh, smoking drugs and everything, and the weed is out there. One day I was coming home, and I was I was going to pray at this sick place. I lose the goal. And I said, God, coming back home, you know what? I saw this long line up there, you know what, waiting for? I thought it was a little church back there for prayer. Dude, waiting for, the weed is out there. It's out there. I, I, I said, what are you waiting for the long line? Look at me and said, what are you waiting for? Don't they tell me? I'm waiting for weed. I see waiting to get high. <laughs> weed. You're going to buy weed and these things that got there you can buy, which are already out there. God didn't put that out there. You can get high on Jesus. You can get high on Almighty God for everything. How are things going to change today? Nothing is changing. Everything is getting worse. I don't see nothing changing. Do you? You know what? If you go in the church and look around and look at pictures of Christ and his mother, you know, it's so peaceful. And you can have that in your house, so peaceful. And to go in the place to get all oh, you bless yourself. I bless my house, I bless my bed, I bless my doorway before you go out. And sometimes you get so much you're busy, you can't do that. Take a minute and bless your house and bless yourself before you go out in this world. And bless your mind and bless your spirit. Bless the money, bless everything that God give you. And make time for you and your spouse to pray together. Pray together, your spirit will fall in love together. You know what she's thinking before you think because God said what I think, she think to my son, you hear what she's saying. You know what, that is so true because I'm learning more about my Jesus. I know more about my God. And how are you gonna know if you don't listen? I don't say, oh, I say, gauge it in grace. A lot of people say, you know what? I feel old, yes, you feel old, you let your body go, you don't care how you look. But you gotta keep yourself up in Christ because Christ says in me, I carry you. You don't carry yourself. You walk in his footsteps, he feeds you, he clothes you. Your eyes to hear, the mind to hear him. So you know what, whatever you're doing, be blessed.